come here for a minute? In a minute, Daddy! Caillou was waiting for something and he didn't want to leave the window right away. Now, please. What is it, Daddy? I need you to put away your toys so I can vacuum your room. The faster Caillou finished cleaning up, the faster he could get back to the window. Caillou was waiting for the school bus to arrive. He couldn't wait until he was old enough to go to school. Hi, Sarah! Caillou! I have one more thing for you to do. Caillou? You there? Coming! Caillou had already taken a school bus once, but he couldn't wait to take it every day. I wish I could go to school. Cool. Lucky for him, at the end of the day, he was going to get his chance. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Caillou. My class is having a little brother and sister day at school. And since I don't have either one of those... Would you like to go to school with Sarah? Yes! That sounds like a great idea. The next day, Caillou and Mommy were packing for Caillou's first day at school. I think we have everything. Pencils, paper, lunch. We forgot this. I have to bring my dinosaur to school. I don't think you'll need your dinosaur today, sweetie. There'll be so many things to do at school, he'll just get lonely in your bag. Okay. The school is big. Caillou thought the school was very big and was afraid that he might get lost. Come on, Caillou. That's the bell. We have to go to assembly. Okay, Caillou. I'll pick you up after lunch. Have a good day at school. Caillou was beginning to feel a little afraid of going into the school. Do you want to hold my hand? You'll see, Caillou. School is a lot of fun. Caillou was happy that he was going to school with Sarah. He felt like a very big boy. Wow! Caillou had never seen a classroom before. He thought it looked like a fun place. Put your backpack here. Can we play ball in a classroom? We're not allowed to play with balls inside the school. Where is everybody? They're in the gym for assembly. Come on, we have to go. What's assembly? It's when the principal talks to us. You'll see. What's the gym? Come on, Sarah, let's play! Caillou, we can play now. The principal's about to speak. We have to sit down and listen. Caillou didn't realize there were so many rules at school. He didn't want to sit down. He wanted to continue playing. We can play later on, okay? Where do we sit? On the floor, like this. Now we have to be real quiet and listen, okay? Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Today is a very special day, and we have a lot of first-timers among us. Psst. Sarah! For those of you that are here with your big brothers... But Sarah, I really have to go to the bathroom. This is an extremely <sighs> fun, fun-filled action packed day. After the bathroom was done and assembly was over, Caillou and Sarah went back to her classroom. You're lucky today's a special day. Usually we only get to write on the blackboards when the teacher asks us to. What was that? The bell for recess. I like your school, Sarah. So do I. But I wish we had more time to play outside. Caillou didn't understand why Sarah wanted more time to play. He loved being in the classroom. When do we read and write? I don't think...
think you'll learn all that today. But we'll do a lot of fun things. Come on, recess is over. Already? Caillou thought the bell rang a lot at school. Caillou loved to paint, and he was happy to find out that they painted at school, too. I'm going to draw a picture of your school. Don't forget that one day this will be your school, too. What did you bring for lunch, Caillou? A sandwich, carrots, an apple, <laughs> and some chocolate pudding. What do you have, Sarah? Fried chicken, cheese, celery, and a cookie. Want to switch? <laughs> I like switching lunches. I don't get to do that at home. Maybe I'll have dessert first. Caillou loved being at school with Sarah. He wasn't able to switch lunches with anyone at home. So, how was school, Caillou? I drew on the blackboard and even switched my lunch with Sarah. Really? That sounds like fun. But I didn't learn how to write. That's because you're still too young. Don't go growing up too fast, okay? Caillou couldn't wait to grow up and go to school every day. Even though Caillou wasn't quite ready for school yet, he was ready for one thing, nap time. Caillou's mommy was preparing a special meal for guests that were coming for supper that night. Oh dear, this doesn't look very smooth. What are you doing? I'm cooking supper for our guests tonight. I want to cook, too. But I want to help. Caillou, just wait a minute, okay? Stand back, this is hot. I can do it, let me! Well, let's see what you can help me with. How about you wash the lettuce while I finish this? Yay! Caillou was happy to help Mommy cook. He wanted to show her that he was a big boy. Look, Mommy. I'm washing the lettuce. Oops. <laughs> Here, why don't you rip it up and then you could dry it, okay? Here you go. This will make it easier. Just turn this and the spinner will dry the lettuce. Ah! How's the souffle coming along? Oh, it's getting there. I'm cooking. I can see that. Caillou, why don't you go play outside with Rosie now and let Mommy finish cooking? There you go, Rosie. Stay out here and play for a while, okay? Hi, Caillou. What you doing? I was helping Mommy cook, but now I have to play outside. I love to cook. Let's make up some recipes. Okay, let's make mud pizza. Mud pizza? Well, I guess we just need to find the right ingredients. Let's see. This pizza needs some cheese. And pepperonis. We can use rocks for pepperonis. There. All finished. Me too. No, Rosie. Dinner's not ready yet. Right. We need to make the salad. We can use leaves. We have to wash the lettuce. There, all done. This soup is going to be good. Gilbert, stand back. This is hot. Gilbert! Gilbert! Whoa! Sarah, look. This could be dessert. Look, Mommy, we made a cake for dessert. It looks delicious. Thank you. And we brought flowers, too. They're lovely. I have just the place for them. They're here. Coming! Gilbert, wake up! Look at my kite! Whee! 
going to the park to fly my kite today. Caillou, what are you doing? Mommy, get dressed. You said we were going to fly my kite today. Remember? I don't think we can, Caillou. They're calling for rain all day. All day? Aww. Caillou was very disappointed. He was looking forward to trying out his new kite at the park. Aww. What's wrong? I have nothing to do now. You could play with Rosie. I don't want to play with Rosie. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe you could have a friend over. Leo! Hello? Can I speak to Leo, please? Oh, thank you. Bye. He's not there. Caillou was discouraged. He had no one to play with and nothing to do. Cheer up. With a little imagination, I'm sure you can find something to do. <laughs> I can't see Rosie. Where is she? Caillou? She was just looking at it. Pirate! The pirate drawing and Mommy playing with the sheets gave Caillou an idea of what he could do. Okay, Rosie. You can have it. <laughs> Did you find something to do yet? Uh-huh. Well, that's strange. I could have sworn there was a... Caillou! Caillou was building his very own pirate ship. He thought it would be fun to pretend to be the captain of his very own ship. Hey! Gilbert, you wrecked my ship! Me too! Rosie, no! It's mine! Rosie, let go! What's going on in here? I'll settle this right now. Huh? But I was playing with it. You can only play in the living room if you two play nicely, okay? Rosie, this is my game. I'm a fish swimming in the sea. Caillou was having fun now playing with Rosie. He liked the fact that he could always make her laugh. Wait, Rosie. I know where I can get a fish. <laughs> Look, there's a fish in the water. It's a shark. He wants to eat the fish. <laughs> Gilbert! We're safe now, but we have to build a boat. Catfish! <laughs> I better swim to shore and get some stuff for our boat. Boat! Boat! Hey, Caillou, what are you up to? I'm in the sea. Me and Rosie are going to build a boat because Gilbert is a shark. Well, I haven't seen any sharks around here. Maybe he's hiding. Here, maybe you could use this to find him. Caillou was having a lot of fun playing pirates. Now he was all set to build his pirate ship with Rosie. Rosie, you're in the water. Let's build our boat. There. Now we can be on the lookout for sharks. 
Look, Rosie, an island. Maybe there's pirates. Pirates? Maybe the pirates took Gilbert. I see a pirate. Daddy! Hurry, hide from the pirate. He's going to catch us. Hard. I'm a fearless pirate. Look at this, an abandoned boat. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I think I'm going to climb aboard. Oh no, I surrender. You caught me. Okay, Mr. Pirate, where's Gilbert? I don't know. Hey everyone, time for lunch. Can we have a picnic on my boat? I think your boat is a little too small, Caillou. Caillou knew what to do. If his boat was too small, he just had to make a bigger one. Mommy, can we use the picnic blanket? Gilbert, <laughs> I found you. All right. I guess a rainy day is a good reason to have a picnic indoors. Here you go, Gilbert. Tuna fish. And so, on a rainy day that began with nothing to do, Caillou and his family had a wonderful picnic by the sea. This is the story of when Caillou learned to skate. It happened on a winter day, just like today. Ever since Caillou watched a hockey game with his mommy and daddy, he wanted to skate. So his daddy made a skating rink in the backyard and bought him his first pair of skates. He shoots, he scores! I want to be a hockey player. <laughs> Good, but first we need to learn to skate. I can skate fastest in the world. <laughs> Look, Mommy, he fell down. Hmm, so I'll be skating with the world champion. That's great. <laughs> See? Soon you'll be able to skate like this. Okay, now the first thing you have to learn is how to stand. Caillou discovered that skating wasn't as easy as he thought it would be. This should help until you get the hang of it. And now you're ready to skate. Whoa. I don't want to skate anymore. It's too hard. I know it isn't easy, but I'm very proud of you for trying. Let's do it again. Caillou was tired of falling and falling, but he did feel like trying one more time with his daddy. I want to try again. Good for you. Oh. You're doing great, Caillou. Oh, no. Look, Daddy. I can do it. Oh. <laughs> Yay. Look at me. You all right, Caillou? Hmm. Caillou, you're skating. You're really skating. Look, Mommy, I'm skating. Who wants some hot chocolate? After falling a lot, Caillou was finally getting the hang of it, except. Yes, dear? <laughs> I guess your next lesson will be how to turn. And then we'll have to think about getting you a hockey stick. A hockey stick? Wow! This is a story of when Caillou went to the park with his grandpa. And he met a boy he didn't like. 
Or at least, Caillou thought he didn't like him. Caillou loved going to the park, and sometimes he got to make new friends. Okay, Caillou, you're on. I'll make another one. Well, hello there, and what's your name, young man? Jim. Well, Jim, this is Caillou. Would you like to play with Caillou, Jim? I think that sounds like a great idea. Now, if you need us, we'll be on that bench right over there. I'm making a tower. I want to make the tower. That's mine. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you broke the tower. <laughs> no, you did. I can make a new one. Maybe it was an accident, Caillou. Jim's sorry, Caillou. Aren't you, Jim? But I fixed it. And you sure did a good job. Now, why don't you two play nicely together, okay? Okay. I don't want to play that anymore. I'm going on the swings. Wait for me. Push me! No, I don't want to. You push me first. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> Caillou didn't like Jim because he always had to get his own way. Caillou, what's wrong? He doesn't want to play with me. <laughs> he always wants to be first. Now, Jim, you know you have to take turns when you play. Did you forget? I know. Do you want to be my friend again? So Jim and Caillou took turns with the pail. <laughs> then they took turns pushing each other on the swings. And by the end of the day, they were having so much fun playing together. Grandpa probably thought they'd never go home. Okay, kids, time to go. Just a few more times, Grandpa, please. <laughs> Whee! Are you ready for story time? Yes, we are. Now, let's see what Caillou did today. Today's story is called Caillou and Daddy. Bye-bye, Mommy! Bye, sweetie. Now don't get into any trouble, you two. Bye-bye! Caillou's mommy and sister Rosie were going out for the day. And that meant Caillou would be spending the whole day with his daddy. That's what I like. A good, strong cup of coffee. what I like, too. Do you remember our secret plan? Caillou was helping Daddy make a special surprise for his mommy. Do you think Mommy's going to like her surprise bookshelf? Yes, Daddy. <gasps> <laughs> Caillou loved spending time with his daddy like this. Just the two of them together. Now, this should dry very quickly so we can... Oh, no. 
Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Well, in the first place, you're covered with paint. <laughs> so are you. Hmm, yes, you're right. And in the second place, I forgot to buy the blue paint that goes on top of this undercoat. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take care of business. That's what we're going to do. Yay! There you go. Are you ready? Yes. Then let's go and take care of business. Hmm. Which color do you think Mommy would like? This one. Let's take it. Are we taking care of business, Daddy? You bet we are. Caillou and his daddy decided to have a hot dog for lunch. Hello! We're home! Caillou! Caillou! It's dry, Daddy. What on earth have you two been up to? We've been taking care of business, Mommy. Look! Oh, a bookshelf. It's just what I wanted. But wait a minute. It looks like I have a new book, too. I made it, Mommy. Come on, kids. It's time for another Caillou story. Now, let's see what Caillou's up to. Oh, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Grows Carrots. <laughs> Caillou? Caillou, why don't you go out to the backyard? Somebody's waiting for you. Caillou was very curious to know who it could be. Grandpa! Hey! What are you doing? I'm making a vegetable patch for your mommy. Would you like to help me? Yeah! Just wait and see, Caillou. We're gonna grow all sorts of vegetables. Caillou didn't really like vegetables, but he liked the idea of making a vegetable patch. I'm giving you a special mission. Would you like to grow the carrots? Yeah, okay. Here are the seeds for your carrots. Where are the carrots? Well, you have to plant the seeds in the ground and give them lots and lots of water. Then they'll grow into carrots. Caillou's grandpa marked out a square in the vegetable patch where Caillou could plant his seeds exactly like grandpa showed him. Yay! Grandpa, it isn't working. There aren't any carrots. Oh, you have to be patient. It might take all summer for the carrots to grow. All summer? My carrot. Good. Now I'll glue the ice cream stick to the cardboard. With his sign in the ground, Caillou wouldn't forget where his carrots were growing. Caillou went to the vegetable patch every day to see how his carrots were coming along. Hmm. And after a few weeks, was wondering if his carrots would ever come out. It was taking too much time. But a few weeks later... Hello, Caillou. I just went by the vegetable patch, and you know what? I think your carrots are ready now. Really? My carrots? I want to see them. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, leaves again. No carrots, just leaves. Oh, don't be so sure. Just grab some leaves and pull. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, a carrot! Enjoy your meal, everyone. I grew the carrots by myself. That's wonderful. Congratulations, Caillou. And look at Rosie. She seems to like your carrots a lot. Although Caillou still didn't like vegetables, he thought his carrots tasted pretty good. Are you two ready for an exciting ride? It's story time! 
So let's see what Caillou did today. Oh, yes. Today's story is called Caillou Goes to a Theme Park. Are we there yet, Daddy? Are we there yet, Daddy? Almost. Are we there yet? We're here. Caillou was very excited because this was the first time he'd ever been to a theme park and he wanted to go on the rides with his daddy. Wow! The first one he chose was called the Niagara Falls River Ride. Stand next to the board, Caillou. What is it? You can only go on the ride if you're tall enough. Yay! Do you like it? Yes, it's fun. <laughs> It's a bit scary, too, isn't it? Caillou and his daddy agreed that the river ride was fun and a bit scary. <laughs> Pretty soon, Caillou was having too much fun to be really scared. The water splashed us, Mommy. Who wants dessert? Well, I'm not sure cotton candy is really good for you. Does that mean you don't want one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Whee! Look, Daddy, we're very high up. Look! Caillou loved riding on the Ferris wheel. From all the way up here, he could see the whole theme park. <gasps> Daddy! Daddy! Look! It was the biggest teddy bear Caillou had ever seen. If they could throw all their hoops over a wooden block, maybe they could win the bear. It was a very difficult game for Caillou. It didn't go. It isn't as easy as it looks. Can you do it, Daddy? I'll try my best. Daddy! Way to go! Caillou really, really hoped his daddy could make the third hoop fall over the block. Did you enjoy yourself, Caillou? Oh, yes, Mommy. What was the best part? Was it the river ride? The Ferris wheel? I know. It was Daddy throwing the hoops and winning the bear, wasn't it? Yes! Where are you hiding? It's story time. Ah, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Now, let's see what Caillou did today. It's a story called, Caillou Looks for Gilbert. Ready, Gilbert? Help, Gilbert, help! Yay, Gilbert! Help, Gilbert, the dinosaur's after me! Caillou loved to play dinosaur hunter. It was even more fun when Gilbert joined in. Whee! <laughs> Caillou, snack time. Gilbert, you stay here. Hi, Caillou. What have you been getting up to? I was playing with Gilbert. I saved him from the bad dinosaur. Did you? You must be very brave to go dinosaur hunting. Was upset. He told Gilbert to stay, but <laughs> Gilbert hadn't listened to him. Daddy, Gilbert's gone. He didn't wait for me. Well, he's not in here. And he's not in the living room. Where is he? I need Gilbert for my game. Gilbert, come here right now! Gilbert, you're a bad cat. 
Caillou was starting to feel very mad at Gilbert. Where could he be hiding? <laughs> oh, what's going on, Caillou? I can't find Gilbert. He was supposed to wait for me in the living room. He's probably sleeping in one of the bedrooms. Let's go and look. We'll be like detectives. Detectives? Hmm. Well, if we're detectives, we'd better look for clues. What are clues? A clue could be anything that helps us find Gilbert, so keep your eyes wide open. Is this a clue, Mommy? Caillou had found the string from the dinosaur he and Gilbert had been playing with. That meant Gilbert must be nearby. That's a very good clue. I think there's only one room we haven't looked in. My room! Gilbert, come out! Gilbert? Look, Mommy, the dinosaur! Another clue! Well, you are a good detective. Snuggle up, children. It's story time. Look at Caillou. He's having breakfast. But it's not just any breakfast. This story's all about Caillou's surprise breakfast. One morning, Caillou woke up very, very early. Caillou was trying very hard to be quiet and not wake anybody. Mommy, are you asleep? Daddy, are you asleep? Caillou was wide awake and feeling very hungry. He decided to have breakfast right then, all by himself. That gave Caillou an idea. He would make breakfast for his family. Boo! Caillou! Hi, Rosie. Come with me. I'm making breakfast for everybody. Hey! Caillou didn't want to wake his mommy and daddy. He wanted his breakfast to be a surprise. Want some milk, Rosie? Mmm. Hi, Gilbert. Are you hungry? Breakfast, Gilbert? Oops. Mm. Breakfast was a lot of work. Now Caillou had to set the table. Caillou wanted this to be the biggest surprise Mommy and Daddy ever had. What was that? I didn't hear anything. I think Caillou's in the kitchen. Caillou? Everything okay, Caillou? Shh! It's a surprise. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what sort of surprise Caillou is making. I wonder, too. The cupboard seemed very full to Caillou. But where was the breakfast food? Cereal. <gasps> muffins. Daddy loves muffins. <gasps> Mama. Caillou wasn't quite ready. Wait, Mommy. There was one more thing he wanted to put on the table. He wanted his surprise breakfast to be just right. Okay, come in. Oh. Surprise breakfast! It certainly is! Mmm, it looks good. And look, my favorite cereal is already poured. And there's a lovely muffin on my plate. And the butter dish is right here so I can butter it the way I like. I made you the biggest surprise ever! Who wants to hear a story? Is this a story you want me to read? 
Yay! Read it, Grandma. Let me see what it's called. Oh, yes, it's Caillou's Missing Sock. one of his favorite socks right away. But now he needed the other one. Hmm. Caillou couldn't find his missing sock in his room, so he decided to go yes. and look in the laundry room. <laughs> Caillou thought the sock might be in the washing machine, but he was too short to see. He decided to go and fetch a chair. Caillou tried to open the door, but it just wouldn't open. And that was a bit scary. Mommy! Mommy! Caillou, it's Daddy. I'm here. It's okay. Daddy? Daddy, the door won't open. I'm going to get you out of there in no time. You'll see. I expect the doorknob fell out on your side, Caillou, didn't it? Yes, Daddy. Well, it didn't fall out on this side, but I have to turn it slowly. It's all right, Caillou. What are you doing in here? I'm looking for my sock. Did you look in the laundry room? Let's look together, okay? Okay. Mommy brought some clothes up this morning. Maybe she dropped your sock on the stairs. I want to see in the washing machine. Good idea. Let's take a look. Can you see your sock? No. Did I forget to close that door again? There we go. There's nothing in here. I want to see. It's not in here. Oh, well. Let's go find you another sock. Your foot must be cold. But I want my favorite sock. After we find you a pair of socks, you can help me fix the broken doorknob if you like. Hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like someone closed the door again. Honey? Are you there? Hello? Let's call out together. Mommy! Mommy! Caillou didn't feel scared this time because his daddy was with him. Oh, dear. Are you in there? Oh, no. The doorknob came out. Caillou's daddy explained to his mommy how to put the doorknob back in, and soon afterwards, she opened the door. I'd better fix this before anyone gets locked in again. I'll go and get my toolbox. What happened to your sock? I lost it. I bet I could put a smile on your face. Look in the basket. Here it is. Once Caillou had both his socks on, he helped his daddy fix the doorknob so no one would ever get stuck again. Story time, kids. Hmm. I wonder if there's any way I could fit right between you two so we could all see the book. What's the story about, Grandma? It looks like a new adventure for Caillou. It's called Caillou Goes to Work. Caillou was excited. He was going to go to work with his mommy. The first thing we have to do is go through the revolving door. I can do it. Watch me. All right, go ahead. But don't forget to get out on the other side. Mommy? Oh, dear. Keep on pushing, Caillou. I want to do it again. Caillou had never seen anything like this before. There were funny noises around and lots of people he had never met before. Caillou? You must be Caillou. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to the office. Caillou is here to work. Wow. Here you go, your very own desk for the day. And what would you like to do? I want to do work. Hmm. Caillou thought that working was writing on paper. I can work with that. I'm finished. Look, Mommy. That's great, Caillou. Uh, just a minute. Look, Mommy. 
This is you, this is Daddy, this is Rosie, and this is me. Take it, it's for you. It's beautiful, Caillou, thank you. You did a really good job. Can we play now? I can't just right now, Caillou. I have a bit of work to finish first. Maybe you could draw another picture. Hmm. Hello, Teddy. Mommy's work takes a long time. Caillou, I'm not quite done with my work yet, but I have a surprise for you. Hello. Daddy? It's me, Caillou. I'm working with Mommy. I'm doing work. Teddy is with me. I love you, Daddy. Bye. What do you say we have some lunch? Caillou and his mommy took out their lunch and had a great picnic with Teddy. Why don't we put up your drawing on my bulletin board? That way everybody will see it. Yeah, I want to do it. Wow, it looks great. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> Here you go. I'll see you later at home. See, that's the office where Mommy works. That's right. Caillou was really proud to show his daddy everything he knew about the office. Wait, I want to show you. The doors were very heavy, so Caillou's daddy decided to help. You really have to be strong to push these doors. I know. Caillou told his daddy all about his day at work. Two fighting again. Now, why don't you stop that and listen to a Caillou story? Well, look at this. It looks like Caillou and Clementine are squabbling too. Today's story is called Caillou's Quarrel. Caillou's friend Clementine was coming to play, so he was getting his toys ready. Caillou! Caillou, come downstairs. Clementine's here. Hey, come in, Clementine. Come in. Say hello, Caillou. Hello. Now you be a good little girl, Clementine. Play nicely. Yes, Mommy. And don't you cause any trouble. No, Mommy. I'm sure she won't be any trouble at all. Come on in, Clementine. Yay! Yay! Wow! You brought lots of toys. Caillou wanted to play dinosaurs with Clementine. And he was going to explain exactly how he wanted to build a house for them with his building blocks. Let's play families. I'll be the mommy and you can be the daddy. <laughs> that wasn't Caillou's idea of fun at all. I want to play dinosaurs. A teddy bear and a bunny. They can be our children. That's my teddy and my bunny. Caillou didn't like anybody touching his teddy and his bunny without his permission. Let's have a tea party for them. Come and sit down. Give them back. They're mine. Don't be silly, Caillou. Sit down and play nicely. I don't want to play nicely. What's the matter? I don't want to play families. I want to play dinosaurs. <sighs> OK, well, the dinosaurs can be our children, too. Caillou didn't like that idea at all. Whatever's the matter, Caillou? And where's Clementine? I don't like Clementine. She took my teddy and my bunny. Let's see if we can sort this out, okay? Now, can we all say we're sorry and be friends again? Sorry, Caillou. Your turn, Caillou. Sorry, Clementine. Come on in, everyone. Clementine's big brother, Billy, was a baseball champion, and Caillou was always very happy to see him. Hi, Billy. Hi, Caillou. Want to play ball? Ah. You're going to be a great pitcher, Caillou. Come and have some juice, you guys. Let's have a race. Hey. <laughs> Caillou? You and Clementine are really good at baseball. We'll have to play again soon. Oh, yes! I want to play with you and Clementine again tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after that. Would you 
like to hear a Caillou story, kids? Yes, please. Now let's see what Caillou's been doing lately. Ah, yes. Today's story is called Caillou's Getting Older. Caillou and his daddy were in the garden one day when suddenly... Daddy, look! What is it? Is it dead, Daddy? Uh... Yes. I think we should bury it, don't you? Why did the bird die, Daddy? Well, now, that's rather a big question, Caillou. Caillou didn't think it was such a big question. Well, it probably died because it got too old. Too old? Uh-huh. It died because it was too old. Caillou couldn't wait to be older. He wanted to be a big boy. But this was the first time he'd ever thought about being too old. Why are you doing that, Daddy? I can't see as well as I used to. I think I need glasses. Boy, I must be getting really old. When Caillou heard that, he remembered what his daddy had said about the bird dying because it was too old. Just look at Rosie. She's eating all by herself. You really are growing up and getting older, aren't you, Rosie? birthday present. A birthday present? Wow! Yes, I'm a whole year older now. Caillou was very upset. Oh, you're a big boy now. And you're getting bigger and older every day. I don't want to be older. Why not? You said Rosie's getting old, and you said you're getting old, and Sarah said she's getting old, and you said the little bird died because it was too old. Ah, the little bird. I see. Caillou whispered to his daddy that he was afraid of getting older and dying. I understand, Caillou. Listen, you have lots and lots and lots of time to get bigger and older, so you really don't need to worry about it now. I promise. Okay? Okay, Daddy. Which one is the oldest, do you think? And which one's the youngest? So the dinosaur must be the one in the middle. Yes! Teddy's the oldest? Yes. And he has lots and lots and lots of time to get older too, doesn't he? Just like me! Yes, just like you. Snuggle up, children. It's story time. Wow, look at Caillou. He looks scared. Can you guess why? This story's called Caillou's Big Slide. Caillou was having a wonderful time at the playground. Watch me, watch me. <laughs> choo, choo, choo. I'm a train, Daddy. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. I'm playing choo-choo. Can I play too? Clementine and Caillou were having fun playing choo-choo train <laughs> when Clementine had an idea. Want to play slide? Yes. No, not that one. That one. Clementine was pointing at the slide the big kids play on. But when Caillou got to the slide, Yay! it seemed very big and very, very high. It's too high. Caillou was frightened. Come on, Caillou! <laughs> da, da. Mm. I want to play here first. <laughs> so Caillou convinced Clementine to play in the tubes instead. <laughs> Catch me, Caillou! Here I come! Got you! Hmm. It's getting late, Caillou. We'll have to leave soon. But I'm not afraid. 
you go first. <laughs> Whee! That was fun. Come on, Caillou, it's your turn. Oh. Whoa. Slide, Caillou, slide. It's fun. Slide, Caillou. I'm not scared. But really, Caillou was very scared. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy! Caillou's crying. He's scared. I'm not scared. It's easy. What's the matter, Caillou? <laughs> hmm. Well, it is a big, scary slide. It does look like fun, though. I know what we could do. Why don't you slide down with me? One, two, three, go! Whee! Caillou was thrilled, but Clementine wasn't impressed. I went by myself. Hmm. Yay! I went all by myself. It's easy. Well, it's time to go home, Caillou. I'll be right back. But as it turned out, it wasn't just one more time after all. Are you ready for a story? A story about Caillou. Today's story is called Caillou Walks a Dog. this cute little dog before. Hello, Caillou. I'm looking after this little fellow again. He wanted to visit his friend, Caillou. Would you like to walk the dog with me? Um... Sure. Yippee! Can I walk him? Of course. <laughs> Look, Grandma. He's sitting down. He's waiting for you to tell him to cross the street. Say, walk, when it's time to go. Walk. Oh. Caillou loved it when the little dog obeyed his orders. Wow, 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 wow. Look what I brought for you. He wants to play. Oh. Oh. Throw the ball and tell him, fetch. He'll bring it right back to you. Fetch! <laughs> <laughs> he did it! Tell him, drop it. Drop it! Um, wow! Fetch! Uh, uh, Caillou had a wonderful afternoon at the park, playing with the little white dog. What, Caillou? I want a little white dog. He's very cute, isn't he? But you know, Caillou, we already have a pet. We have Gilbert. Oh, but I want a dog. A dog that I can walk. Maybe when you and Rosie are a bit older, we could think about getting a dog. Good night. Good night, Daddy. Caillou didn't want to wait until he was older. He wanted to get a dog now. When Caillou found his toy dog the next morning, he got an idea. This can be your leash. Mommy, Daddy, come see. What is it? A surprise. <sighs> Look. And now Caillou had a dog of his own that he could walk every day. 